Mia's Wish by Matthew Haig Mia the fox was different, and that was that. Maybe it was because she was so clumsy, or maybe it was because she was so shy. I can't tell you the reason exactly, but whatever it was, Mia wasn't like everyone else. Every summer, Mia played in the town's local pools. When fall came around, she built leaf castles, baked delicious pies, and read sappy romantic novels. Don't get me wrong, Mia had a happy, good, and even joyful life. That is until Christmas came along. Christmas in Mia's hometown, Critterboro, was unlike anywhere else. Where you might celebrate Christmas for one day, or two if you're lucky, they celebrated it for the entire month. All the worse for Mia. The celebration started with decoration week. Chloe the crane would string colorful lights, Mr. and Mrs. Monkey helped with the tree, and Rhea the rhino made plump battered cake pops and candy cane hot cocoa. Mia tried to help. Honestly, she did. But she got herself tangled in the lights, burnt the sugar cookies, and while making paper snowflakes, accidentally snipped off half of Mr. Walrus's mustache. Worst of all, the snowflakes weren't even that good. The second week was contest week. They had snowman making competitions, gingerbread decorating competitions, sledding competitions, and even competitions to see who looked best in plaid. Mia did her stretches, got her fit on, but she lost the caroling competition, ripped her scarf in the sleigh race, then to top it off, tripped in the present pole right in front of the fox she liked most. The third week was festival week, the only week Mia sort of liked, animals from all over the kingdom would arrive in big bobbing carriages. They'd set up the most wonderful, colorful tents and sell the most wonderful, beautiful things. During festival week, elephants bought brushes and rhinos bought hats and Mia bought nothing. She thought that nobody ever liked her presence anyway. After every last chocolate plum and toy train had been bought, wrapping began. The town wrapped thousands of presents. Once they were wrapped, they would parade them up the street. What a jolly sight. At the top of the street was the church where the presents would sit until Christmas Day. The last week was called Wish Week. Mia disliked it most of all. While everyone got seven or eight presents, Mia normally only got one. And sometimes even that was by accident. Lizzie the Llama had gotten her wish two years in a row. Doug the Dog had gotten his wish last year. But a dozen Christmases had passed and Mia's wish had never come true. She was beginning to believe she just wasn't good enough for wishes. Mia was beginning to question if she was good at anything. All she knew was that she couldn't bear one more bad year. What to do, what to do then? She had a thought. If my wishes won't come true, then maybe 
I can help others with their wishes instead. The first person Mia helped was Chloe, the crocodile. Mia cleaned Chloe's swamp, her teeth, and helped her fish. Mia felt a tinge better after that. The next person Mia helped was Brooklyn the bat, who slept poorly at night. So together they had a snowball fight, made frosting mustaches, and eventually went to sleep. By Christmas Eve, Mia had helped nearly everyone in town and was feeling better than ever. Just one more person to help, Penny the Panda, who was going to miss her family this Christmas. Penny would be the most difficult one yet. But Mia knew just what to do. That night, like every other animal in Critterboro, Mia opened her window and knelt down. I want to be normal. I want to be liked. I don't want to be different or alone Christmas night. Every year I have wished that this wish would come true. I was starting to think I'm too boring for you, but this year I just want that old wish to just die because Penny the Panda needs it lots more than I. Please, please make Penny's wishes come true. I promise you that she's good enough for you. And for the first Christmas Eve in years, Mia went to bed, not worrying about the next day. The next morning, Mia got up, slipped on a scarf, and headed to the church where the town was opening presents. Libby the lioness had 16 presents, Tommy the turtle had 18, and oh, Mia's surprise when she realized she had more than them all. Mia didn't understand it. Oh, she was nervous when she thought that maybe her old wish had come true, but it couldn't be. She hadn't wished her old wish. No, they liked her for her. Somehow, in helping others, Mia had gotten exactly what she had always wanted. From then and there, Mia never felt lonely or ashamed anymore. There were a lot more presents that year, but the best gift was when Mia saw Penny and had no doubt that for the first time in her life, her wish had come true. Turns out she had been wishing for the wrong thing the whole time. The end.